Oh, really a oh, hi, Robert. Any further news on Tony? They're operating on him now. I'm sorry to get you over here before you went to the hospital, but I felt that you'd want to see this. What's up? Well, I figured you'd want to take a look at everything while it's still fresh. And what did the boys come up with, anything? Well, nothing really big, a lot of little things. That's why I wanted you here. I figured with your methodical brain, you could take all of these little pieces, put them together, and come out with one big clear piece. Bert, you give me too much credit. No, no, no. I've seen you do it before, and I want to see you do it again. So we'll start with where Tony was when he was shot, and he fell right along here. All right. And we're sure that the shots came from over there, that window. Why? Well, because of where he was shot. Which was? Well, the hospital report says that he took two shots, both from the front, one in the forehead and the other one in the heart area. Powder burns by the window? Yes, and uh, a lot of blood behind this curtain area here. But you said the body was found here. Well, yes, that's why having the boys test the blood to make sure that all of that blood is Tony's and not someone else's. Evidence of anyone else here? Oh, sure, lots. Anybody could have done it, Robin. Remember, this car is being restored. Bums could have been sleeping in here, kids playing, anything. We got a lot of fingerprints. How about footprints outside? Yeah, a lot of those, including those of a woman. Probably fallacious. Well, that's what we figured, but we're still checking them out anyhow. All right, any other identifiable footprints? Well, there were a lot of them, but most of them were trampled on, and I think it was done by the ambulance guys when they removed the body. All right, so Tony was shot inside from about here. Mm -hmm. Was he followed, or was the person that shot him already inside? Yeah. And why would anybody shoot someone like Tony? Commissioner, can you tell us what happened here? Yes, Dr. Anthony Jones was shot. That's what we heard. Uh, can you tell us more? What were the circumstances of the shooting? Well, we don't have a clear picture just yet. Any suspects? Not at this time. Is Dr. Jones dead? No, he's being operated on right now. Do the doctors think he's going to make it? I'm sure they'll be doing their level best to make sure he does just that. Any clues, Commissioner? We're still sorting them out. Scalpel. Sponge. Clamp. Suction. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. close to the coronary artery. It's left ventricle. I have to put some Teflon plugets in it to work fast. He's going to need all the strength he can get for the craniotomy. Scalpel. Sponge. Clamp. I'm all right now. Just lie still. Shh. Just do what Alan tells I gotta you. see if there's any news about no. Tony. It's too soon to know anything. Just lie down. But I have to know. Listen to me. What I told you, listen to me. You mustn't think about those things right now. That's How can I help but to think about those things? My husband and what happened to him and what might happen to him. Let's go. Let's go. You've got to try to calm her down. Tony, Tanya, Tony wouldn't want you like this. But I can't help it. Can't you see that? I can't help it. He's going to be all right. You hear me? I'm telling you, he's going to be all right. You hear me? Now, you've got to start thinking about yourself and the baby. Alicia, will you have a word with her? Talk to her. Uh, I'm Dr. Garland. Dr. Mason's left for the day. I'm taking care of her things. Uh, what seems to be the matter? This is Tanya Jones. This is Anthony Jones' wife. Oh, I see. I heard oh. what happened. Look, she's pregnant. Needless to say, she's gone through a terrible trauma about Tony. I mm -hmm. thought that it was important for you to have a look at her because of the baby. I understand. I'd like to examine you, if that's all right, Mrs. Jones. Why? Well, just to make sure everything's all right. The first few months of pregnancy can be very delicate. I'm all right. Well, it can't hurt to check. Uh, we'll need to be alone. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'll be right outside. Come on, man. Mm. 
The nurse downstairs told me that you brought Tanya up here. Is she all right? She fainted. Oh, but I saw Dr. Garland going in. It's not the baby, is it? No, 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 no. Well, we don't think so. We want to make sure about it. Oh, it's just so terrible. It's awful for her and for you, of course. How's Tony? We don't know yet. Rick's operating? Rick and Monica. He's got the best. He's going to pull through. I know it. I hope you don't mind my coming down here, but I thought Tanya might need some support. She does. We all do. Thank you. Robert and I just couldn't believe it. Where is Robert? He had to go to the railroad car first. Has he found anything out yet? No, no, he hasn't. But he's coming by here afterwards, so maybe you can talk to him then. Well, Felicia can tell us. I hope Tanya's going to be okay. Well, news like this so early in the pregnancy can be really traumatic. Well, let's just hope Garland's examination will prove that the baby's fine. It's got to be all right. She can't lose Tony's baby. She can't. Mm -hmm. 